This is News Radio with 1300 and 1069 FM. This is the widely acclaimed and award winning talk of the town. I'm your host, Steve Kelly. Joining us in studio right now from the Circle Theater is Nadia Skidmore, the Director of Audience Development. Nadia, hello. Hello. Managing Director of the Circle Theater is Lynn Brown-Tepper. Hello, Lynn. Hello. Uh, this is fun to have you guys back again. There are three more shows left. There are. Can yes. you believe it? You see the shows all at uh, Aquinas College. Yes, at the Performing Arts Center. For uh, full disclosure, I have to mention that my sister is an employee at Aquinas College, oh. and there is no family favoritism uh, here based <laughs> for this uh, for this interview. You've got three shows coming up. Let's talk a little bit about those. You can find out about tickets at circletheater.org. Uh, where do you want to start? Becky's new car? Sure. That's the show coming up next okay. in July. Um, it's a comedy. It's great fun. It's um, relatively new. Um, very very interesting um, information we found out recently is that how the play came about is there were gentle there was a gentleman for his 60th his wife's 60th birthday he commissioned the play for her as a gift really mm-hmm um, and they're based out of Naples, Florida. But he contacted us shortly after we announced that we were doing it. And I guess what they do is they go around and see all the places that it is performing. And I, I just thought, wow, you never think about how a show really comes about. But that's how this one came into being is he was like, what does she not have that I could get for her right. and let's, let's a play, play written for her? How about that? Well, is that is it telling? Because it's kind of one of those stories about I'm kind of trapped in my own life. I'm thinking about maybe what if mm-hmm. as I sit there and daydream sort of thing. Was he wondering that his wife is daydreaming about their relationship? Perhaps, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, who so, knows? So tell us a little more about the play. Um, it's, it's really fun. Um, there are some um, audience participation scenes. Really? Um, that is that is very, very fun and in past productions um, that the audience has enjoyed quite a bit. I guess most audience, they either really love that or they don't. It depends if they're the ones participating, I guess. <laughs> That's true. Um, but like one of the examples is at one point she's folding laundry and she goes and hands the basket to somebody in the audience and is like, here, finish folding this or whatever. you know. And it's mm-hmm. just other fun things. I don't want to give too many of the moments away, but there is a lot of that interaction or where she goes into the audiences and, and talking to them. And she's the only character Character that does that since Becky is who the play is about, um, but it's it's very fun. It's got some heartwarming moments as well, but it's got some real laugh out loud. Moments Different every too. night, so nobody's hypnotized. Nobody's hypnotized. No. Nope. <laughs> Again, nope. you can find out about tickets for Becky's new car July 9th through the 11th, 15th through the 18th, and uh, 22nd through 25th. Those shows are at 7:30, and you can call the box office 616-456-66. 56 or circletheater.org. Uh, let's go to company. Uh, so now we're talking Sondheim. We are talking Sondheim. Yes. Tell us a little bit about the show Company. All right. So uh, so Company is a story uh, about uh, uh, a man turning 35 whose name is Bobby. And Bobby is surrounded by all of these uh, very good friends, a variety of different couples that are trying to show him through their daily lives and, and challenge him about um, why, why aren't you married yet? And what's really funny <laughs> is that Bobby sees um, all the good and bad. Of, of being in a committed relationship. And then we also get to know some of the girlfriends that Bobby has throughout this throughout the show as well. Uh, but it's just, it's great. It's, it's a great um, kind of timeless reflection upon um, uh, the the ins and outs of relationships and the different kinds of relationships that people have and, and what works for people and what doesn't work for people. And uh, and and he's kind of caught in this, in this place between um, am I ready, am I not ready, and why? Is this the one that you're in? It is the one that I'm in, yeah, so yeah. So we're talking to Nadia Skid more the director of audience development at Circle Theater, and also uh, Lynn Brown Tepper's been at some shows too. But now the company you're going to be, what should we look for? What character should we look for? Uh, well, I mean, obviously, look look for all the characters. Uh, but uh, but I'm playing Joanne, who. Uh, so when we see Joanne for the first time, should we go? Woo! I saw you. I heard you on Talk of the Town. <laughs> Maybe save that for the end of the show. Okay. Otherwise, I'll be like, who 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 out there said that? Uh, but uh, no, I actually get to play this character. Uh, uh, who traditionally is a, a little bit older than Bobby, but in our production, uh, we're we're not playing it uh, as an older character. We're playing it as uh, a, a character who is sort of above it, who is sort of uh, okay. one step ahead of Bobby, who kind of already has a heads up on what it is that he needs and wants, but she's just kind of trying to help show him the way 
there. Show him the way. Not in that way. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Come and see. You'll find out. <laughs> yes, so again, uh, find out about Company, the box office, 616-456-6656. That runs in August, the 6th through the 8th, the 12th through the 15th, and the uh, 19th through the 22nd. Again, uh, 7.30. All of those shows are at Aquinas College uh, and their Performing Arts Center. We'll talk about that uh, at the end, circletheater.org. But let's get, while we have time, catch me if you can. You probably had a chance to see the Leonardo DiCaprio movie, which was great. A lot of people don't realize that this is a true story. It mm-hmm. is. It's based on a guy that actually did this stuff. And uh, and tell us about your adaptation. Uh, well, it, it's great fun. Um, the music is very um, has kind of a Rat Pack feeling to it. Um, oh, nostalgic, neat. yes. Um, and it's great. We've got a fantastic design team on it. Um, and the cast is amazing, but it is very high energy, a lot of singing and dancing. Um, as I said, the music from that era is just so luscious and wonderful to listen to and fun. It moves pretty quickly. Um, it's a great way for us to end the season on a real high, high note. Absolutely. So, so we're talking skinny ties and uh, fun suits. And oh, yeah. Great, yeah, great costumes. Yeah. Absolutely. And the music is written by the same team that wrote Hairspray. Oh, really? And so, yeah, same same. Uh, sort of feel and mm-hmm. energy Very beneath fun. that music and, and also um, the, the moments of emotion that sort of catch you by surprise because you're already having so much fun and then it just kind of just kind of punches you in the gut in a good sort of way. That sounds great. Uh, that's Catch Me If You Can and uh, and those shows are in September the 3rd through the 5th 9th through the 12th and the 16th through the 19th again at 7.30 and uh, of course those will be at uh, Aquinas College as well in the Performing, Art, Performing Arts Center. So 616-456 6656 circletheater.org. So if you've driven around Grand Rapids, uh, you may have missed Aquinas College. Uh, you'll go by it on either of the streets uh, that you can see it. Uh, I like to go in and sneak through the back off of Robinson, and that's where you'll find the Performing uh, Arts Center. Mm-hmm. Uh, and once you park your car and walk around Aquinas College, it's huge. It's way bigger than you think. If you've never been in the Performing Arts Center, tell us about this very unique and intimate uh, venue. that, And I don't mean to imply small, uh, because it's bigger than you think once you get inside there. The acoustics are amazing. What's it like uh, to book and perform that hall? It's very intimate. I mean, um, <clears throat> our old space was out by the zoo in, in the old pavilion. And the idea in building this new facility in our collaboration with um, Aquinas was to try to maintain um, that intimacy, but also have better accommodations. And our theater is what you would describe as thrust or arena style. So it's three quarter. We have occasionally done some shows in the round in tribute to um, how this circle theater started. Um, but it is a, a very intimate space and it's a beautiful campus. And um, one of the nice things is if, you know, a lot of the arts organizations are downtown and being over where we're located it's free parking you can always find a parking spot it's very well lit it's very safe it's very close to the theater so you don't have to walk a long way Um, and it's just if you come early and you're able to kind of look around the theater look around the campus it's just absolutely beautiful just sort of meditate reset your Mm -hmm. mind go in see a show absolutely okay so again we'll give you those phone numbers 616-456-6656 or circletheater.org Nadia Skidmore and Lynn Brown Tepper. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. This is News Radio with 1300 and 1069 FM.